is a challenge in itself at times. I don't want you guys to watch these videos and think that like, oh my gosh, Mariah is just oh so perfect with how she handles things. I'm really not and it's taken me a long time to get to this particular place I am right now. So and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. If you are new here, then my name is Mariah and for the last 16 months, I have been on a journey to conceive rainbow baby number one with my husband, Jeremy. As always, thank you to my returning subscribers for coming back. I appreciate you guys continuing to cheer us on along this journey. So in today's video, of course, you already know we are back for another test. I am 13 DPO currently cycle day 28. So guys, it's basically getting to that point where it's now or never. I'm either going to see at least a faint line or we're pretty much gonna be rolling into the next cycle. Like I mentioned in the last testing video, I still am having some heavy uterus kind of uh, feelings and I'm super sweaty. Like even right now, I am so hot and so sticky um, is really how I feel. But those have been like the only things I've been feeling quote unquote different. So we're just going to go ahead and take another test. Per usual, I'm using my Pregmates. You guys already know. And here is the fresh test. As you can see. And I do have first morning urine here. So here we go. One, two, three. And I'll go ahead. Is it even process? Okay, now it's starting to go across. I was like, hold up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cover that up. And then we'll wait the five minutes. As you guys can probably tell, I am in a pretty upbeat, dare I say it, chipper mood today for basically no reason in particular. I just feel really good today. I know lately I've been feeling kind of tired and I've been really busy. So I've been feeling just a little bit less energetic, so to speak, than I normally am. But I am feeling really good and really optimistic overall. Not necessarily for today's test, not necessarily even for this cycle, but I am feeling overall optimistic because I guess I would say it's like, a certain sense of like a little bit of a security blanket and having our new protocol. I've been kind of feeling like this might not be my month and my cycle, but I've been so okay with that because like I said, we have this new protocol in place and I really am believing that that is going to be the key of me finally conceiving again and having a successful pregnancy this go around. So while I'm feeling really optimistic, I'm still having a little bit of, I guess you would say, mixed emotions because I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for these next steps that we're about to potentially be going into if I get a negative today and start the next cycle. So it's just, it's a mixture of feelings. There is definitely a renewed sense of excitement because I feel like we are gonna be moving forward again. At the same time, there is a little bit of, I won't even say really fear. I guess it's just a little bit of concern for the unknown, so to speak. But overall, I'm feeling really good. I just feel like our time is coming. I'm really hopeful that by the end of the year, we will see our positive and be transitioning into a pregnancy journey once again. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty much just staying very hopeful. And I definitely still have my positive outlook on things. It doesn't mean that I don't still get anxiety at times. It doesn't mean that I am not still fearful in certain cases. It doesn't mean that some days I'm not just like, Ugh, I just wish this would happen already. It's really more so that I'm just trying to maintain my good attitude and just having an overall positive spirit and just being grateful for the things that I do have still in the midst of trying to obtain something that I so am longing for and so heavily desiring. And that is a challenge in itself at times. I don't want you guys to watch these videos and think that like, oh my gosh, Mariah is just oh so perfect with how she handles things. I'm really not. And it's taken me a long time to get to this particular place I am right now. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling because our timer is about to go off and 
we will get to look at these results and there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up and of course, I'm gonna show you guys first. Then I will look at it. Like I said, guys, I still have just a little bit of hope left <laughs> for this cycle that I might just be able to see my positive now before we enter into this next stage of the process. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. Well, that's negative. Yep, I always, I don't know why I always do this, but I always like tilt it so I can see this part of the test to see if any dye is sticking to the line. That is just, it's like really silly of me to do, to be quite honest with you, but I just always just seem to have to make sure. But this is definitely a negative test, so that's that for 13 DPO, and I feel like I am now just, and that mental preparation for next cycle. I would say for this cycle, it's kind of like hope has officially left the building. I feel like for me personally, in my experience personally, if I was going to see a positive this cycle, I would at least be seeing something faint coming up by now, but it's nothing there. It's still blank, so it just is what it is. Life goes on and we continue to move forward. I know you guys say that I'm not out until AF shows up, but I'm pretty much thinking that I'm I'm out and I am done for this cycle. Like I said, I am getting those currently, as I stand here right now, those heavy uterus kind of, um, they're not even pains, but just that feeling. So I'm pretty sure that my next cycle is gonna start within the next day or so. If it doesn't, I will come back on here and test again. If it's late, I'll come back and test again, but I'm just going to expect for AF to show up and get ready to move into this next cycle. But like I said, guys, if I happen to be late or she doesn't show up, I'll come back on here. I'll record another video and let you guys all know and we'll test again. So that's all for this video, guys. You already know the drill. If you like this video, please go ahead and give us a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to join our tribe. Come along with us on this journey. I truly do believe, guys, that this journey is going to end in something amazing, truly amazing and I am just doing my best to have a positive ride while going through it all. I am sending you ladies all sticky baby dust. I really hope that we all achieve this pregnancy that we so want by the end of this year. I am sending you guys so many positive vibes, lots and lots of love and I really truly hope you guys are all having an amazing and wonderful week. So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.